The UNH swimming and diving team is fresh off winning its second straight America East Conference Championship. Senior Lauren McCandless and junior Katie Mann played a large part in the title run, not only with their performance in Worcester, but all season long, breaking record after record. Success in the pool, not the only similarity for this duo. In 2013, Katie was named the America East Scholar Athlete of the Year. One year after, Lauren was honored with that same achievement. The conference scholar athlete must have a prominent role in the success of her team while sporting a minimum GPA of 3.3. It's just incredible because you've just had worked so hard at being successful in academics and successful in athletics and kind of winning that award just had me realize that my hard work hasn't been for nothing and kind of people have noticed that I really put forth a lot of effort in both academics and athletics. Coming as no surprise, excelling in both academics and athletics requires student athletes to be on a pretty rigid schedule. Well, my biggest thing is I have to make sure that all my homework is done the night before or two nights before or so because I know that I'm not going to have any time during the day to get homework done. So we're usually up at 5 a.m. on morning practices. I will come here for afternoon practice and then have dinner. And then this semester I have night classes. So my day usually starts at 5 a.m. and then ends at 9 p.m and then I have to go home and balance homework or try to like fit in homework before practices if I go to the academic center. Um, it's all just about balancing and kind of working around my schedule. It helps having you know, a group of people who are on that same schedule because you can go to the library together, they force you to study. We keep on top of each other's homeworks. Like I know when other people have exams, so I can tell them, have you been studying? Like We keep up on top of each other. And it's really helpful to have that outside support of your teammates and they ask you how your exams go and we're just wishing each other luck on not only our athletics but our academics as well because we want to be successful in and out of the pool. Both of them have been extraordinary and not only getting it done academically and athletically, but being models for the rest of their teammates, which I think is also a really important part. Lauren and Katie have set a new standard for what it means to be a successful student athlete, and it hasn't gone unnoticed by head coach Josh Wilman. Their achievements academically right now and, and their success in the pool have really kind of changed the way I've started looking at recruits, because I think that if they really don't have um, the academic side behind them and that ability to manage their time and be successful academically, they're never going to be successful here in this program. So um, it's definitely one of the, the top things that we look at as we recruit is having someone that um, is academically strong and, and really goal oriented in what they want to do um, in terms of classes or a major or you know a future career. Having such a demanding role in the pool and in the classrooms has definitely shaped me to be a stronger person and I think that I'm benefiting in so many different ways I don't even realize right now is that um, I'm becoming a little bit more resilient and um, getting more of a leadership role and um, so many different characteristics that are helping me be a better person, be more successful. Although the success of the Wildcats stems from leadership, it takes a total team effort to create the culture that now resides in Durham. I don't think I would be anywhere as successful as I am without the girls in that pool with me. We support each other at every practice. There's always someone screaming, go girls, keep it up, push yourselves, you know. You're racing the people next to you, and I feel like if you didn't, we didn't have each other, we would all not be nearly as successful as we are. Our whole atmosphere here is is uh, competitive. You know, you want to beat the person next to you uh, in the lane when you're practicing every day, but you also want to encourage them. And I think it's the same thing academically. They want to help the team get a great GPA, and they're certainly encouraging each other. Um, you know, whether it's studying or tutoring each other in some of the hard classes. One of the things that we know about in athletics and academics, competition is not a bad thing. And so I think that's a great challenge. I mean, we talk all the time about how you do anything is how you do everything. These are two young women who that's how they approach life, to be as good as they possibly can at both. And I think it kind of throws down the glove to challenge not only each other, but the other people on their team to be as good in the pool as well as in the classroom. The atmosphere here is so supportive from uh, the professors to our academic support staff. It really, they really come together to help um, the athletes. We see a lot of professors here swimming every day. You know, a lot of them are noontime swimmers and a lot of them are, are here at our meets. And I think that when the people on the team see that their professors care and respect what they do athletically, it makes them more excited about uh, doing well in their classes and, and adds that extra you know, incentive to, to do well academically.